Got a piece. And Winker's out. David Bell is out to talk. Winker was pointing to his bat, believing he had foul tipped it. Ball skipped dirt in and out of the mid. Yes, Red Zorkin, it's John. David Bell will be there for you to get thrown out. Well, down on strikes, four Ks for Marquez, and a minimum faced inning. Reds up 4-3, but their manager is gone. David Bell erupted at home plate man Marvin Hudson. Now, was it all about this? I, I don't know. Jesse Winker thought foul tip. Bell definitely came out at first to argue about that. But I also wonder how much might have been holding over about the late asks of time with Wade Miley pitching and the pitch that didn't count from last inning and the build of that effect as well in the game. Yeah, I mean, we don't know, and maybe David will give us some insight after the game, but Freddie Benavides takes over, bench coach. So I went back to the prior inning, and this is the pitch in they're talking about. particular situation, position, where you can just get comfortable there. We saw him at first base, different outfield positions. Seen him at third base. Red's dugout was chirping a little bit on that last pitch and then the Rockies were asking what the count is. Was time granted because there was no obvious signal from crew chief Marvin Hubson. And now the Reds are asking again what's the count did that pitch count. The pitch did not count he did get the timeout called and the chirping from the Reds dugout was that Wade Miley had already started into his windup and you can't do that which. I don't think that's what the ejection was actually about. But I have no problem analyzing that play either way. There are actually two rules involved here. What Cincinnati wants is 504B2, which is the umpire shall not call time once the pitcher starts the windup or has come to set position. Miley is working out of windup here. But what the Rockies would say is look at the batter. The batter's still getting ready, and Miley is already going to start the delivery on that first pump before the batter is reasonably set. That's an illegal pitch. It's a quick pitch, so it shouldn't count. That's why the batter calls time. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And Hudson says, the batter's not ready. The odd thing is, if Hudson kept this play alive, the penalty for an illegal pitch, if it's thrown, is a ball added to the count. Miley threw a ball. It was not in the strike zone. So the penalty, if this was actually called a 6-0-2-A-5 illegal pitch, versus if this was actually allowed to play out as a, a thrown pitch, would be the exact same thing, a ball added to the count. Hudson tried to split it down the middle by just saying, we're, we're just not going to have this pitch count at all. If we look at the replay again, the Rockies batter was out of the box for a legal reason because of the prior strike, then comes back into the box and is getting ready. And while the batter is getting ready, Miley starts delivery. That's a quick return pitch. And the, although you're not supposed to call time while the pitcher is in the windup, you're also not supposed to throw a quick pitch. So it's a real chicken and egg situation that ultimately leads nowhere because it was going to be a ball either way but it doesn't really have an effect on this at bat to begin with. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at Close Call Sports. We'll see you on the site. Staggers back and he adjusts. He has looked far more fluid in right field.